Every time I watch the show, I feel like I'm playing Mafia, which I haven't even played, but I have the game on Steam. I want to play it. It's just we're doing like old timey detective investigations, you know, like this one's called Murder on D Street. I'm just I'm ready for it. What's up, Dapper Squad? It's your boy Darius back at it again with Bungo Stray Dogs, Season 1, Episode 5. Last episode, we had the Black Lizard Squad of the Port Mafia attack our agency, end up realizing how strong our agency is, and then getting re-welcomed back in and, and re-realizing our position in this world and what we can and can't do and what we need to do and who we are and stuff like that. I'm just excited to find out more about all the people, about who the girl that uh, Aku Tagawa was seeing, just everything, because I really just don't have a lot of answers at this point, and that's the biggest thing I'm looking for. So I can't wait to jump into this. I say we do it right now. Bungo Stray Dogs, Season 1, Episode 5, Murder on D Street. Let's do this. Ultra deduction is the best or even the entire nation. I am so curious how strong because everyone's gassing him up. See, right to the heart of any case in an instant. Minora. <laughs> Wowzers. This is a murder on D Street. If I had a hat, I would take it off too. A man? We haven't seen Desai this episode. Is it going to be Desai? On his suicide, and we saved we saved him before he could die. <laughs> Interesting. We instantly challenge one of his subordinates, Sugimura. Especially compared to his special gift, you know. 60 seconds, okay. Oh, 10 has already gone by. Um, we have this, that, the That actually is a good lead. Hmm, of course Desai would know, being an ex-member himself. They curb stomp you? Oh my god! I'm not fucking with the poor mafia. Okay, so they just shot three times in the chest. No, no, no curb stomping. An attempt to cover up or to pass blame off to someone else. It's been 60 seconds. Alright, Rampo, let's see it. Okay, I was wondering that. So it's very similar to Mob Psycho in this world where it's, I, it definitely could be myth and legend, urban legends as some may say, but people who are in this type of work who are first-hand witnesses of gifted people do believe in gifted powers. It's just kind of like psychics and mob psycho where it's like, oh, you're a psychic? Yeah, buddy, whatever you say. But then, you know, if you know, you know. I was wondering about the perception of powers in this world. I am been waiting on that. This is the ability that keeps the agency going. So that's his... That's his condition. He needs to put on the glasses. Ultra deduction. Ooh, it's like he's looking into the Matrix. I won't lie, that is dope. He does the typical anime glasses thing. Hmm. 
Is he pointing at the... Oh, really? What? As if it were an epiphany. Let's see this evidence. Okay. We got the authorization. That is true. This is the... This is the proving point right here. Yeah. Especially in Japan. Oh my god. Everyone's... The tension's just rising. Everyone's just be like, you're joking, right? Okay, so it's like a certain character in Attack on Titan. When you're revealing them, you're, it gets very tense just like this. And you're like, please tell me you're joking. Oh my god. Okay, good thinking, Dazai. Atsushi with the shove with the quick... Wow. Early yesterday morning at the abandoned shipyard 140 meters upstream from here. Rampo. Okay. How it always goes, especially with corruption. Makes its way to the top. Yeah. That's how it goes. She was a real one. She wasn't afraid of the danger. Mm. Yeah, she's a real one. But in his fear of what... He knows she has a very compassionate heart, empathetic, and he accidentally shoots her in the chest and then shoots her two more times to cover it up. This is very unfortunate. Oh, what did she say? That is pretty horrible. To shoot two extra bullets into a dead person that you cared about's chest, that's pretty traumatic. And then dumping her in the river. This is like some actual real life shit. Like this is really dark, really sad. And this actually happens in real life. Yes, I actually would like to know. That seems like something she would say. She seems like a nice enough soul. She literally just got shot and is apologizing for forcing his hand and putting him in the position that, you know, he was in. But he's just, man. First off, I must give props to Bungo Stray Dogs. Very realistic scenario in which this shit does happen. There's so many corrupt cops that are in it for their own selfish gain or in it because they really don't have a choice in the matter. But this does happen, and it is sad. So shout out to BSD for having this example of a murder uh, situation, a murder investigation. I was not expecting it to go like this at all. And shout out Rampo for not just talking through his ass. He really is a fantastic detective. I That power is incredible. <laughs> Okay, understandable that you would, but I appreciate that. So all that Matrix shit was just... There's no way, really? He's just that smart? Yeah. You secretly... I was secretly pinching the hair behind him? Why? Oh, to, to make sure. So to... 
<laughs> I'm anti. I love that. He says he's anti gifted, but that's a great way to tell someone. Oh, well. Wow. So he really. Rampo. Wow. He really is just that smart. Fucking light Yagami out here. It's fucking L. Yeah. That is so unbelievably believable. It's crazy. Yes. That's what I want to know. Is it even possible? Based off what? They were fired, yeah. That is a good indication. I mean, that's just... Yeah, that's, you can just tell that from being a medical examiner, you know? Especially in the water. Oh, that would rot very quick, you know? See, that's one thing I appreciate about certain aspects of being a professional or professional or an expert in your certain field the way you just go about thinking about things is just so different like that's why i love watching like esports and stuff like that but what i love when they have like the in-game comms like you can actually hear what they're saying and see the stuff that's going on in their mind because what you can see with my own eyes and what i can observe is is one tenth of what's actually going on in the deep levels of these guys is mental construct so it actually blows my mind like the fact that he could pull so much obviously rigor mortis and the condition of the body just takes you know practice and, and knowing and knowledge on that which he could have gained over obviously his years of doing this detective work but just so many little subtleties that me i consider myself at least average intelligence i didn't pick up on a single thing like oh my lord i appreciate this it's like i'm watching law and order I fucking love Law and Order. Touche. Yeah。Wow, I didn't realize it was like that at all. God damn, I literally got goosebumps, chills. Oh man. Oh, that's that makes it 10 times more heartbreaking. He had to do oh my god. He's literally like L and Light Yagami. This man's a legend. Guide. How, wait, now I'm even more questioning. How is this man this smart of a dude who can't even take a train home? That's hilarious. This is a great episode. All's well as that's well for me. Shouts out Rampa. Oh my god. I don't know if this is going to be... I assume it is going to have a larger story at some point, but this could seriously be a show of like serialized episodes just like this that all are like an anthology and tell their own individual stories. I know, like I'm saying, I know it's not going to be this. I know it's going to have a grand larger story at some point, but it could be like this and I would be pleasantly surprised. Like if it had a different style of investigation or a different type of issue that they deal with every time. Like I thoroughly, thoroughly, thoroughly enjoyed this episode. I am a big fan of investigations myself. Like I said, I love Law & Order. You know, classic, boring, basic show, but um, I do love the work that detectives and police officers do in order to to solve these cases and it's 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 such a back and forth between the criminal you know one-upping the police the police having to think outside the box to think how the criminal thought you know and it's just rampo is the ideal version of that it's crazy this motherfucker is crazy oh my lord i felt super bad for sugimoto this episode and his girl i forget her name but both under subordinates of of the dude of the police officer who thankfully recognized you know a, a little bit of rampo skills but that just was so deep and so just not what i was expecting they were dating he obviously got depressed because he wanted to be a police officer for so long failed his third exam you know got in oh it's just it's so sad and then when she was doing and when she was investigating the political corruption scandal, you know, obviously some info came out and he was, oh, imagine getting that info like, yo, tell your girl to stop doing it. Like, oh man, that would be, oh my, it'd be so hard. It'd be horrible. I couldn't even picture it. It'd be horrible. 
It was a fantastic episode. Shout out Rampo. Shout out Desai. Shout out Atsushi. My boy Atsushi is gaining knowledge as he goes on, getting all like detectives assistant. I'm down every time. Let's do it. But uh, like I said, I am loving the serialized one-off stories type beats. It really reminds me of like something like The Mandalorian, something you know, some other type of shows like that where it's like these little mini adventures, and I'm just I'm here for it. If you guys enjoyed, please leave a like. Let me know your thought. Let me know your thoughts down below in those comments. If you guys don't want to wait for the next bunch of episodes I upload, you guys want early access, full length, all that jazz, check out that Patreon. We are four episodes ahead for you guys. Other than that, you guys make sure you have a great day. Drink a lot of water. Be safe. I'll catch you guys later. Peace out, Dapper Squad.